In today's prank call, we received an email from a guy named Kevin mm. who's applying to universities to get his master's degree. Wow, good for you, Kevin. And he's really close with his older brother who's been waiting to hear how Kevin did in his interviews. Oh, that's awesome. Well, he's about to find out, but it's not Kevin who's going to break the news to him. Oh. It's actually one of the school officials oh. who needs oh. to double check the accuracy of some of the stories that Kevin told <laughs> during his one-on-one -on -one <laughs> session. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, his brother brother will have his back no matter what. Yeah. We'll find out in your phone tap right now. Hello? Hi, my name is Chancellor Duncan from the University of <laughs> I'm looking to speak with a Lewis. Yeah, that that's, yeah, you got the right guy. Oh, okay. Hi, Lewis. I know we never met before, and sorry to surprise you with this call, but I, I just had a one-on-one -on -one admissions interview with your brother Kevin for our master's program. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's excellent. Okay. Yeah. This is really important to him, so. Oh, well, that's good to hear. And um, the reason that I'm calling you is Kevin and I spoke at length, and he told me all about your childhood and everything that you two went through. And just, wow. I, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we went through some stuff. I mean. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so, I mean, he gave me your number. Because we've had a lot of people apply to the business program. You can't always believe what you hear. Nowadays, people will say anything just to get in. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kevin's usually pretty good about being up front. And, you know, I, right. He's pretty trustworthy. Yeah. So I, I just need you to confirm some of the details that he told me, and then we'll be all good. All right. Sure. Great. So... Obviously, Kevin told me about your guys' childhood growing up and how economically challenged your family was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> challenged. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry to use harsh terms. I, I don't know the right way to say it, but he mentioned the story about how both of you had to share the same pair of overalls because oh. your family could only afford one. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and you had to wear them at the same time when you went to school. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to say one. Wow. And, and Kevin mentioned that in sixth grade, you still didn't know simple math. Uh, not because you weren't going to school. You were just slower than the other children. <laughs> Kevin said that? Yeah, because, you know, you were, quote, the, the dumb one. Oh. Kevin's words, not mine. Yeah, I, I was the dumb one. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just I'm still just trying to wrap my head around it. A child that young is Kevin having the type of commitment to an older, much dumber sibling. It's just you don't hear about that a lot around here. So, yeah, it just really inspired me. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't hear about that very often. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's just incredible. And uh, Kevin also mentioned at nighttime while your parents were out working double shifts, you two were left to fend for each other. Yeah. Well, you know, we were pretty. We're pretty tough kids, you know. Now, I am curious, just personally, whose idea was it to send you out onto the streets? Oh, oh to send us on the streets? Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, that... not not both of you, just you to go out on the streets to earn money. Oh. Whose idea was that? Oh, yeah, no, that that was my idea. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah. The dumb one came up with the idea. <laughs> Right. I should have figured that one. Because Kevin mentioned yeah. you had much looser morals than he did at that age. Yeah. So, I I mean, I just want to hear, Kevin aside, what was that like for you, making that type of sacrifice with your body? Uh, with with my body? Yeah, I mean, Kevin went into a lot of detail about it. But that's his side of the story. I want to hear what it was like for you. Oh, well, whatever helps Kevin out, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but Kevin said you didn't shy away from doing it. That you actually enjoyed it oh. more than he thought. Oh, did he now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and some nights you would even give it away for free. Oh, I did. Yeah, I guess I did a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I shouldn't be telling your story. You lived it. I'm just in awe. So. I, uh, yeah. I gave my body away. That's how it went. Well, I mean, clearly you're a good guy. I did it for a good reason. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, do you still do anything of that nature? Uh, no, that's all in the past. Oh. I, don't, I don't do that stuff anymore. <laughs> okay, shoot. I'm just wondering if there was any money involved, What would there be a way that we could meet up? Oh. Or if like you you still have a contact from the streets, maybe? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Kevin, you should ask Kevin about that. You know, he might be, uh, he might be more up to 
you know. Well, I did ask him for a contact during our interview, and the only thing that was on the table was he offered me your body in exchange for a prank phone call on the radio. <laughs> Are you freaking joking right now? Yeah, I am joking. My, my name is Jeff from Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning Man. Oh Your brother Kevin set you up. <laughs> that little s***. <laughs> <laughs> he said that you didn't want him to put you down as a reference for his college application, so he wanted to get back at you. Yeah, because I was like, what are they going to ask me? I, don't, I got nothing to say. Average questions about your childhood growing up on the streets and earning money for your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually never happened. Yeah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about it. No, no. Remember, I'm the dumb one. I wouldn't know anything about that stuff. <laughs> All right, of course. <laughs> <laughs>